Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, I am excited to show you what I colored for the month of June. I actually got a decent amount done for, um, uh, yeah, way more than I expected to. Sorry about that bump. So, um, most of these, actually I think all of them I based with alcohol marker and then went over the top with colored pencil. So this is the first one. Um, the artist, oh, and they're all PDFs except for a couple. Um, <laughs> cause it was a lot easier than trying to hold a sleeping baby and color with a coloring book. Um, but anyways, so this was alcohol marker and Prismacolor pencil, um, drawn by Sherry Baldy. I thought she turned out pretty cute. Um, sorry, just a second. Next up is this picture that I did, um, illustrated by Jeremiah Kettner. Um, he's known as Small and Round on Etsy. And this is again, alcohol marker base with Prismacolor. Um, I really like the bright colors in this one, and I had a lot of fun doing the background, just adding some texture, um, since the, uh, alcohol marker didn't go down completely smooth, it was a little splotchy, um, so that was really fun. And then, from the Storybook Darlings, so I think that's what it's called. Um, by Hannah Lynn. Um, I did this one. This is a uh, Rumpelstiltskin fairy tale. And I was on the fence about adding some like gold glitter um, to like, you know, because she spins a straw into gold. But I decided to just keep it as a straw. So it's like she's oh, thinking about this big task she has. Um, but I really love the bright colors in this one. Um, also, alcohol marker with Prismacolor for the shading. And I love the color scheme. And then, um, I did this picture. This is, um, done by Mystic Art Mirrors, Mirrors. And I had to do this one for, uh, a series of reasons. Um, one being, she's like, you know, locked in a tower, and um, right now I'm kind of like, you know, with quarantining and just everyone being encouraged to stay at home as much as possible, especially since I just had a baby. Um, <laughs> I thought this was very fitting. Also, um, she is what I would say is my spirit princess. We're both pretty similar. Um, she's artistic, I'm artistic, she has long blonde hair, and for most of my life I've had long blonde hair, and, um, her sidekick is a chameleon, and one of my nicknames in high school was chameleon. So, yeah, anyways, I really love how this turned out. Um, my husband helped me pick the color for the background. I was originally going to do a darker color, but he suggested the light blue, and I'm really happy that I went with his suggestion because I think it turned out really cute. Um, and this was, I believe I used some polychromos and some Prismacolor um, over the alcohol marker base. Okay, this next one is really cute. And I did film a color and chat while I was working on it, but my phone had some issues. I couldn't get it to turn on. And so I need to check to see if I was able to retrieve that footage because I ended up having to get a new phone. Um, but anyways, <laughs> this is illustrated by White. She's on Patreon. Uh, and this is one of the images that I got for uh, becoming one of her patrons, and it's super cute. Um, alcohol marker base with Prismacolor on top, and this background. Um, 
So my alcohol marker started running out and so it was super splotchy. So I just added a bunch of dots um, to create some visual noise and you can't really tell that it's like really splotchy, but trust me, it, it was awful looking. So um, this is really fun to do and it made, it just makes me happy looking at it. Um, next, we have another one by Mystic Art Mirrors. I did Tinkerbell. Um, this is my second attempt at doing a darker skin tone and it's definitely way better than the first attempt um, and it was a lot of fun. I love how her hair turned out and I couldn't decide um, if I wanted to do a background because I loved these colors so much together I didn't want to like throw off um, the visuals for it so for now it'll, it's blank but if any of you have a suggestion or if you think I should just leave it blank let me know um, so that's Tinkerbell by Mystic Art Mirrors and then um, this is uh, from one of Ikuko's Beautiful Faces books I bought it as a PDF. Um, I love how her hair turned out. I think that, that turned out really pretty. And then the roses were super fun to do. Um, so I based everything except her face um, in alcohol markers and then did Prismacolor on top. I don't really like how her skin turned out. It kind of is like really mucky looking. And part of that has to do with grayscale, but also I made the mistake of using Prismacolor. I prefer Polychromos, how they lay down for skin tones way better, um, and probably would have worked better on the grayscale as well, because the Prismacolor kind of smudged the ink a little bit. But I think she's turned, she still turned out really pretty, and she was a lot of fun to do. And the last PDF <laughs> that I worked on was this one, um, also from Etsy. She goes by Annie's Coloring on Etsy, and this was a lot of fun to do. So I originally was going to do dark blue background with like aqua green hair, um, but um, I realized I've already done a mermaid with like an aqua background, and aqua hair, and aqua skin, so I wanted to do something different, but I still wanted to have the aqua hair, and I had this idea, what if I did like a two-tone hair, um, cause I thought, oh, it would be pretty to do maybe pink hair, but I don't want it to seem too like Little Mermaid-ish, um, so I did the pink hair, and then I did the aqua for like the shading and I think it turned out really fun like really cool um, and I definitely want to try it again with other colors um, and then the skin I did with Prismacolor and these fish I just like took I have a pen I just took a pink pen and did the dots on the scales <coughs> excuse me Oh, also, I do have. Oh, let me see if I can grab it. Oh no! My whip got stuck. Oh, sorry about that big jiggle. I have a Mariola Budek whip and it is stuck to my board. Oh no. That's awful. Right, right there. But thankfully, so I based it in alcohol marker, and this is how much I did on it. And thankfully, this I did buy this as a PDF, so <laughs> I should be able to print it again. Or maybe I could even just like, um, since it's on the very edge and the very bottom, I'm, I'm, I still want to work on this. And I'm trying to like create kind of a rose gold hair. Um, so that's a whip. And then I decided I needed to start working in one of my coloring books more. So I picked this one. 
And for the longest time, I've been trying to decide how I want to color in it. Do I want to, um, like, do start by working on the states that I've lived in, the states that I've visited, um, or go from front to back. Um, and I, like, put this pressure on myself because I illustrated it that it needs to be perfectly colored. So I've been, like, putting it off. But... I decided I just need to start coloring it, and I decided to do from front to back, but if I feel like, you know, jumping around, I can, but for now, I'll just be doing it front to back. So I did work on a couple pictures. Um, I did Alabama, and I think this turned out really cute. So I love, love, love this color scheme with the teal, aquas, and the pink. Hmm. <laughs> Does this look familiar to anybody? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, anyways. So, I based everything in alcohol marker, and then I added some shading on the hearts with pencil. And then with my jelly roll, white jelly roll, I added these white accents. And then I did Alaska... And this <laughs> um, kind of flopped a little bit. It's not my favorite color scheme, but I mean, it's still nice. But the reason it flopped is I was trying to use metallic blue gel pen. Sorry, my son keeps grunting. He's like starting to wake up. Anyways, so um, I was using metallic blue gel pen and it started running out and I only could get it to go this far and could not get it to do any more. So there's a li little bit of metallic, but you can't even tell because it was dying anyways. Um, so I tried to match as closely as I could with my Prismacolors to that color. I think I did pretty okay. Um, and then I wish I would have chosen a different gray, but I think it's still fun. Um, and then this is a whip. I just based this in alcohol marker and there is some metallic gel pen um, for this like gold or darker burnt brown color and I'll add some shading so that's where I'm at right now in this book and um, also I completed a diamond painting. Now disclaimer most of this most of it was finished before baby was born, so I just like had a few more spaces, finishing touches, but I think it's so cute. Um, so it states it's a 50 by 50, but not even the canvas is 50 by 50, so it's probably more like a 38 or so, maybe, maybe like 40. Maybe 45 centimeters, um, but I, I think it turned out really cute. Um, and I do want to post a post review on it because there were some things like these little dots right here. Um, I just kept so I can show what it looked like in the review. If you know it exactly like what it says, I'll probably pop these off later and put in like regular hair color. Um, but this was super fun. It was around and I really love it. And I've started a couple other diamond paintings, so hopefully I can show one of those in my next wrap up. Um, but anyways, I think that's everything that I colored this month. And yeah, I think my favorite picture is definitely the mermaid. Um, yeah. Uh, but anyways, comment below what was your favorite picture that um, in this video or that you worked on this month. And if you're not already, be sure to subscribe and like this video if you are inspired to go color. And I hope to see you next time. Happy coloring!